thin cylindrical and spherical shells. Introduction When thickness of the wall of the cylindrical or spherical shell is less than one tenth to one fifteenth of its internal diameter. The shell is called thin shell. These shells are used to store liquid and gases under pressure. Let us first discuss thin cylindrical shells. The cylindrical shell under pressure will generate tensile stresses in both circumferential and longitudinal directions diameter and length will tend to increase due to two mutually perpendicular stress systems acting upon any internal point on the surface of the shell under pressure the stress is developed inside of thin shells are called as internal stresses these are of two types first is circumferential stress or hoop stress sigma c or sigma h respectively the circumferential or hoop stress will tend to increase diameter and circumference of the shell under the effect of hoop stress the cylinder will burst out into two troughs at the time of failure. The bursting will take place if the force due to fluid pressure is more than the resisting force due to intermolecular force of molecules lying along the area of critical section of failure. As shown in figure, bursting force equals pressure P into projected area on which P is acting equals P into D into L here projected area of trough is area of rectangle of length L and breadth D resisting force equals hoop stress into area of resisting section sigma H into 2 times L into T, where area of resisting section is taken as length L into thickness of plate T. 2 is multiplied for both sides of resisting areas, equating both the forces at the time of failure. P into D into L equals sigma H into 2 times L into T. Sigma H equals P into D upon 2 into T. Now we will discuss second type of internal stress named as longitudinal stress sigma L. The longitudinal stress will tend to increase the length of the cylinder finally bursting or failure into two small cylindrical parts the bursting will take place if the force due to fluid pressure is more than the resisting force due to intermolecular force of molecules lying along the area of critical section of failure as shown in figure bursting force equals internal pressure P into projected area on which P is acting equals P into pi by 4 into D squared. Here projected area is a circle of diameter D. So area of projected part is pi by 4 into D squared. Now calculate resisting force equals longitudinal stress sigma L into pi into D into T. Here, area of resisting section is a ring of diameter D and thickness T. So area along critical resisting section will be 
pi into d into t, equating both the forces. At the time of failure, p into pi by 4 into d squared equals sigma l into pi into d into t. So, longitudinal stress comes out to be sigma l equals p into d upon 4 into t. That means circumferential or hoop stress is just double of the longitudinal stress at any instance. So, thickness of plates of shell is governed by hoop stress. The hoop stress should be less than the permissible stress of the material. For complete course and step-by-step -step illustration, please subscribe full course on Structural Analysis and Design app. Also subscribe YouTube channel Matrix Digital Solutions. Thanks for watching.